other pretrial conference other than we're waiting for one more counsel to appear. So what department is he in, sir? So we can find he, out. Uh, Your Honor, uh, he, he, uh, he's in the, the probate uh, department, the probate uh, commissioner. You've got to be kidding, sir. With Judge Sturman or the probate commissioner? Uh, well, it, it's in the regional uh, justice center, so I, I would I would imagine it would be uh, what well, would be uh, the commissioner, I, I believe, Your Honor. That can be all day, and there was. No, no, I, I, I just I just uh, I'm texting him now, and I said you need to be here. You were supposed to be here at ten fifteen. So uh, I apologize, Your Honor. He 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 was it was very I clearly he and I were on the same page. He was supposed to be there at ten fifteen. Counsel, we cannot hold this up any longer. I'm going to set this case, and you understand there's going to be sanctions imposed. Okay? There was, there was a clear express agreement, 1015, co-trial counsel had to be here, counsel. You understood that. You understood okay, that. Okay, I, I, Your Honor, I, I understand that. I, I, I have to be responsible for my co-counsel. If, if he didn't show up on time, then I understand all the sanctions. And we, 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 we waited and went through everybody else. Okay. No, no, I understand. Your, your Honor, I completely understand. And I, I know I'm disappointed with my co-counsel for doing this. So, yes, I, and, I completely understand. And did not notify the court either that it was going to be late. So, we're going to need to recall, which was pages 1 and 2, 720-032, which is Stokes versus Bank of America. Okay, can I have appearances again, please? Uh, Joe Hopkins appeared for uh, Ms. Tobin as trustee and as an individual donor. And Ms. Tobin's also present. Melanie Morgan for Nation Star. Mr. Huang is co trial counsel. Are you going to make your appearance? Oh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Joseph Huang for <coughs> the uh, Jim Zap Irrevocable Trust, uh, F. Bondurant, and uh, Young Lee. Okay. Um, before Ms. Morgan, um, when we first started to call this case, I don't think you were here. Look, you have counsel. You represent both Ms. Tobin. You said that she has a claim, is a cross claim in an individual capacity. She because filed the, a, a cross claim as an individual and as trustee, Your Honor, as I understand it. She because was the that's, beneficial. Because that's not what Mr. Mushkin in, remember in prior. Okay. Couldn't find anywhere in this case that there was any individual claims. Now, understand that caption may have that, but you represent in both. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. At this time, we do. I mean, I, I, to advise the court, Ms. Tobin has requested that we withdraw as counsel for her as an individual so she can do her own filing, Your Honor. Okay, well, but as of today, April 25th, 2019, you are counsel of record for Ms. Tobin as trustee of the Gordon Hansen Trust, correct? Yes, correct, Your Honor. As also to the extent that you assert that she may have a claim in her individual capacity. As of today, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay. So, let's, the court, in trying to evaluate whether there is or is not any individual claims, is not going to revisit that issue today. But let me be clear about something, because on Tuesday there was hearings, and documents had to be stricken because Ms. Tobin filed documents under her name, which is completely improper, as you know, because she's represented by counsel. So this court did strike a series of documents that were filed by Ms. Tobin because an individual cannot file documents when they are represented by counsel. Only counsel who represents, whether it's an individual, <coughs> And when I use the term individual, individual <coughs> party, corporation, entity, trust, et cetera, you understand. And Any, I told Ms. Tobin that, that until we withdrew, she could not file documents in her own individual name, and that's why she's asked that we withdraw as her counsel as an individual. But I'm just being clear, the court did strike, there was a series of documents that were filed, I believe, and I'm doing this by memory, I believe it was April 9th. I believe it was April 12th. There was there was duplicative documents. I think April 9th, April 12th, and 
that were stricken because they could not have been filed because your firm shows counsel of record and those were filed under Ms. Tobin's individual name. So those were stricken as rogue documents, okay? Since Ms. Tobin is here today, Your Honor, would the court, and would, would confirm this, would the court entertain a, an oral motion to allow us to withdraw as her counsel as an individual okay. today? Today is only teed up for purposes of pre-trial conferences for the very, a lot of very good reasons, okay? Including the fact that the court is starting a jury trial at 11 o'clock, okay? So, you can appreciate we need to ensure that everybody has a full opportunity for their scheduled matters to get heard. <clears throat> you can appreciate the rules specifically require at least a judicial day's notice with regards to different issues. Court takes no position on anything, but we have to get trial set today as scheduled. So that is what we have for today. I, the court was just making you aware, since no one appeared at the hearing, there that those documents were stricken for the reason that they were stricken. That's of course publicly available on the minutes when they get posted. But no one was here. No one from your firm was here. Ms. Tobin wasn't here. It was a regularly noticed hearing that was left on, just in case anyone was going to appear, even though those pleadings were not proper, but just in case so that everyone could be informed. Motion, Your Honor. When I did have counsel from Nation Star here, and Mr. Hong on behalf of the various parties he represented were here as well. And so the court, on the record, did strike those various documents that had been filed by an individual who was represented by counsel, as would be in any case, because an individual, whether it's an individual, corporation, or entity, when they're represented by counsel, only counsel can file documents on behalf, on, in a case. So that was taken care of. So that all being said, today is the day we need to set this case for trial. This case needs to be set for trial, and it's going to be set in the appropriate stack, which is this stack. Some of you may or may not have heard that cases have already been set. Now, what this court shows is the only parties left in this case, and I appreciate Nation Star's counsel is currently here because while there is a resolution, there is not notice of entry of order or with regards to that. Is that correct? That's correct. And I also came because I had circulated a stipulation to conform the caption to remove the remaining claim against the HOA and to clarify Ms. Tobin's role, as I understood it, was only as trustee for the trust. Mr. Coppedge and I spoke yesterday. That's not their understanding. Apparently, they understand Ms. Tobin to have claims in both her individual capacity and in her capacity as trustee. So we didn't get that stipulation signed due to the ongoing confusion about that. But as far as Nation Star is concerned, correct. We're out of the case, so we don't have a position on when it goes to trial. We'll get the stip filed in advance of all of that. So I appreciate it. So for purposes of Nation Star, you're more than welcome to stay. You're more than welcome not to be here. You're compliant because you technically have not filed a stipulation to formally have you out of the case. But since you set forth your position and there is no claims remaining in the caption as is that involves Nation Star, and I'm going to confirm that. Looking at the caption, we went over this on Tuesday, but looking at the caption again, you have settled with, resolved, or settled with all parties. Is that correct? That's correct. Does anyone disagree that there's any Nation Star claim? Counsel? Okay, so that's all Jimmy Jack entities. And there's nothing with regards to anything in the way that the current caption reads based on the rulings of this court with any other parties. So Nation Star is out of this as the case currently sets. Based on the court's ruling, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay. So Nation Star, you are welcome to stay and you're welcome not to be here. It is completely your choice. I think since this one has a lot of moving parts and I'm here already, I'll just stay. That's perfectly fine. All right. So people are always welcome to stay. I just, sometimes people have other places they need to go, so if they're not required, if they don't need to be there. Okay. So, counsel, I will note your co-trial counsel is still not here. 
Um, so we are going to get this set. Pick how many days. So the only remaining parties in this case, I'm just going to call it, is the Tobin parties, potential parties. I'm just going to say. That's one R. And then it is the parties represented in the counterclaimant role represented by you, Mr. Hong, correct? And your co trial, correct. right? So, how many that days? Is correct. And now, as, as, as counter defendants, Your Honor. Right, only in the counter, counter defendant defendants. roles. That's what I was saying. Only in the counter defendant roles. That's the only thing that we show is the counter. That's correct. Okay. So, without getting into the distinction about whether or not. There's only the counterclaimant versus counter defendant. So it is whether it's That's Tobin correct. individual and Tobin is trustee, or whether it's just Tobin is trustee. The court's not going to address that right now. I'm just going to call it Tobin for okay. ease. Um, Tobin, like I said, just for ease, I'm not to take any verbiage from that. Anything else versus Jimmy Jack Irrevocable Trust, Yoon Lee, and F. Bondurant. That's the only thing that this court. Shh. Well, technically, there's does and rows, but the time to amend is way past, so there really isn't does and rows at this juncture. Is that correct, counsel? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. So that's the only thing that's left at this juncture that needs to be set for trial. That is a bench trial. How many days? Is the court for full days, Your Honor? Do you start like at 10 or 11? Oh, you may not have heard what I said a moment ago. I Mondays and Fridays, <coughs> 9 o'clock, sometimes 8.30, the court is specifically requested. Tuesdays and Thursdays, my motion calendars usually start by 10.30 or 11, depending on the breadth of the motion calendar, depending on attorneys getting here on time. Wednesdays, sometime 9.30 or 10, depending on the breadth of my CD calendar. And one Wednesday, and I have CD calendars three of the four Wednesdays a month. So on the non-CD Wednesday, I can start at 9. Okay? So... That's Your Honor, if I can chime in, I, I, don't, I'm not, I don't believe that I'll defer to counsel, but I don't believe it's going to be more than half a day. I can't fathom it being possibly more than half a day. Okay, well, I'll ask you, on behalf of your client, how many witnesses do you anticipate, sir? Mr. Hong? Zero. Zero, okay. So, on behalf of counterclaimant, how many witnesses? At least four, Your Honor. Okay, so four. Okay. Um, I don't know if you all are waiving openings or not, but... So how many days do you think? One, two? I would have said two full days, but I, maybe two and a half days, Your Honor. It may, it may linger over. Two days, Your Honor. With four witnesses? Ms. Shelby's going to be on the stand for a long time, Your Honor. Okay. Well, so two days. So um, two days, you know where I can actually put you? I can put you at the very beginning of the stack, Wednesday, Thursday, number two, May 29th and 30th, or May 30th, May 31st, if you want. When we were here before, Your Honor, I, um, I advised the court that I'm out of town for a wedding May 25 through June 2. Oh, okay. I, I appreciate I, you bringing that back to the court's attention because um, you can appreciate it's been a lot of hearings in between the time and... You would not recall that, Your Honor, but it's the only comment I have to say. No worries. Okay, then we can put you right number... Two. Where do I could put you... I'm not going to do it real quick. I'm not going to do that to myself. Yeah, but um, you said you're back on the 2nd? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I thought I put you a little bit later in that week. Put you number 3, starting either the 4th or 5th of that week? That's I mean, I can start you on the 3rd. I just didn't know if you want to start on the... I would prefer not, Your Honor. That's why I was saying a little bit later in the week. But since you're only going to be two days, I can start to the 4th or the 5th of that week? Um, the 5th would be fine, Your Honor, I think. 5th? Put you number 3 on the 5th? Okay. Does that work for you, Mr. Hong? The number uh, on the fifth of June, Your Honor. Fifth of June, number three. Fifth of June. Uh, yes, that's fine, Your Honor. Okay, and since that's a Wednesday, we could probably start. It probably would start. Um, that's a CD Wednesday, is it not, Madam Clerk?
just didn't see if I have any CD matters already on that Wednesday or not. I can just look real quick. There's only five. Okay, so I can say 10 o'clock on June 5th. Okay? Thank you, Your Honor. 10 o'clock on June 5th. Now, in light of that, would you like me to move? Realize it does not open up anything, but I could move your calendar call to that preceding. It's not going to be the Tuesday. I'm going to have to do it on special setting on Wednesday the 29th. Okay? Oh, no, you're not there. You're not here. I'm out of town that Mr. Mushkin... I should say someone else can call, carry it. It's just bringing in exhibits and everything, right? Okay. So on the 29th, special setting. I'd have to do a calendar call because we're not. We're going to be dark on the 28th. Okay. The 29th at 9 a.m. would be your calendar call. That does not reopen up anything. It's just that's a date when you would bring everything. Would you like that so that you're not doing it the first week? Or I can leave your calendar call as scheduled, or I can put you on the 29th. What What's would the you prefer? Hour? Pardon? What's the current date, Ron? Calendar call. May 21st. I have a matter of, I prefer 21st, Your Honor. Just bring your exhibits and stuff. 21st, you're all set anyway. So, Mr. Hong, should we just leave you on the 21st to make life easy? Uh, actually, Your Honor, uh, if, if, if we can do it on the 29th, on the 21st. Uh, Counselor, <coughs> Counselor, your co counsel is uh, not here fine. today. I think what you'd like me to do is do the 21st because since your co counsel is not here today, we're leaving it on the 21st at the request of plaintiff's counsel, aren't we? Yes, we well, are. I mean, the reason I was going to say is I, I'm, I'm scheduled to be at my son's graduation in New York City on the 21st, Your Honor. <sighs> but I guess but, but my co-counsel can appear, right? It, it no, co no, your co-counsel is not going to have the opportunity to appear because he's not here today, and it's already been 40 minutes, okay. 45 minutes. No, we're not providing right. that opportunity. No, no, again. no, no. What I was asking is if my co-counsel can appear on May 21st. Counsel, he's not here today. Okay. We're not going to leave that open. Okay. Okay. For him not to Thank not you. appear again. Can we do it the 29th, Your Honor? Because what day do you leave? What day do you come back, sir? I leave on Monday and I come back on Thursday, Your Honor. The graduation is the 21st and the 22nd. I'm sorry, you come back on what day? I come back on Thursday. You'll be back in town on Thursday, or you won't be back in town on Thursday? Uh, I, I will be in town on Thursday, but most likely I will be landing in the afternoon on Thursday, Your Honor. Do you already have your flight back, Council? Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. What time is your flight back, Council? Well, I, I don't have that in front of me. My wife scheduled that, Your Honor, but I imagine I'm going to be on the morning flight on Thursday because I, I did tell her I need to be back. In Las Vegas on Thursday, so if I'm on the morning flight New York time, I I, I believe I should be back landing maybe one or twelve noon right around there. That's what I'm thinking, Your Honor. So let's you're here on Thursday, aren't you? The twenty third council. Yes, Your Honor. So let's do it three thirty. I'll take a break from my trial. It's a perfect time to take a break from my trial. Okay. Twenty three at three thirty. Okay, okay. That, that that'll work, Your Honor. Does that work? I could be in trial anyway. Okay, three thirty. We'll do a calendar call then. That. Meets both your needs, right? Before one leaves and one after one gets back. 3.30 on the 23rd then. Okay? Thank you so very Thank much. You, Your Honor. Okay. So we grabbed the orange copy, Your Honor? Bench trials are orange, yes, and golden rods were things. And I need to call we got, so we can get our jury trial get taken care of. i got to real quickly call my last one, my last bench, my last pre-trial conference, please. So I have to recall it was the very last one, which was page 10, Eric Jordan versus Alamo Handwash, 7